Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome uh, to the announcement of one of the worst kept secrets in Washington. <laughs> you know, as President, I rely on an extraordinary team of men and women here at the White House every single day. Uh, and I rely on my chief of staff uh, to keep up with them and our entire government, making sure that we're all moving in the same direction, making sure that my priorities are being carried out and that our policies are consistent with uh, the commitments that I've made to the American people and that we're delivering progress to the American people. Um, as I said earlier this month, uh, I could not be more grateful to Jack Lew for his amazing service, uh, first as our OMB director, then at the State Department, uh, and ultimately as my chief of staff. Uh, as he prepares for his confirmation hearings uh, and the challenge of leading our Treasury Department, uh, I am pleased to announce my next Chief of Staff uh, and a great friend to me uh, and everybody who works here at the White House, Mr. Dennis McDonough. Hey. been counting on Dennis for nearly a decade, since I first came to Washington, uh, when he helped set up my Senate office, uh, along with Pete Rouse. Uh, you know, he uh, you know, was able to show me where the restrooms were and um, you know, how you passed a bill. Um, I, I should point out that even then, Dennis had gray hair. Uh, I've been trying to catch up to him. Uh, but at that time, uh, I relied on his intellect and his good judgment, ever, uh, and that has continued ever since. Uh, he's been one of my closest and most trusted advisors uh, on my presidential campaign, on my transition team. He has been an indispensable member of my national security team as well. Now, Dennis has played a key role in every major national security decision in my presidency, from ending the war in Iraq to winding down the war in Afghanistan, from our response to natural disasters around the world, like Haiti uh, and the tsunami in Japan, to the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, to countless crises in between uh, day and night. Uh, and that includes many nights. Uh, I've actually begun to think that Dennis likes pulling all-nighters. Uh, the, the truth is, nobody outworks Dennis McDonough. Uh, and you know, part of the reason you saw such warmth of applause is that uh, in addition to being an incredible talent and such a hard worker, Dennis is also a pretty humble guy. Uh, to so many of his friends and admirers, he's still just the dude from Stillwater, Minnesota. Uh, and given his humility, uh, I don't think people always uh, appreciate the breadth of his experience and, and the range of his talents. Uh, and it's precisely because of that intellect, that experience, his dedication, uh, his determination that I wanted Dennis in this job. Uh, as a veteran of Capitol Hill, where he was mentored by the likes of Lee Hamilton and Tom Daschle, uh, Dennis understands the importance of reaching across the aisle to deliver results for the American people, whether it's on jobs and the economy, health care or education, uh, reducing the deficit or addressing climate change. Uh, Dennis is respected by leaders across our government. Uh, add it all up, and I think he's spent most of the past four years leading interagency meetings, uh, hearing people out, listening to them forging consensus, and then making sure that our policies are implemented uh, and that everybody's held accountable. And he always holds himself accountable first and foremost. Uh, and it's no easy task, but through it all, Dennis does it with class uh, and integrity uh, and thoughtfulness for other people's point of views. Uh, he's the consummate public servant. He plays it straight. Uh, and that's the kind of teamwork uh, that I want in the White House. You know, time and again, uh, I've relied on Dennis to help in our outreach to the American people as well, including immigrant and minority communities and faith communities. Uh, Dennis is a man of deep faith, and he understands that in the end, our policies and our programs are measured in the concrete differences that they make in the lives uh, of our fellow human beings and in the values that we advance as Americans. Uh, Dennis insists on knowing for himself the real world impact of the decisions that we make. So away from the cameras, without a lot of fanfare, 
Uh, he's visited our troops in Iraq and Afghanistan repeatedly, hearing their concerns, finding out what they need, and then making sure to follow up. He travels to Walter Reed, again, without fanfare, to spend time with our wounded warriors, getting to know them and what we as a nation can do to take care of them and their families. Uh, and then he comes back here to the White House, and he gets it done. And that's the kind of focus, but also the kind of heart that I want uh, in this White House. Now, uh, don't get me wrong, uh, Dennis can be tough. Uh, it probably comes from being one of 11 children. You've got to be tough. Uh, two of his, uh, his uh, sisters are here today, by the way, Mary and Anna, and uh, I know they could, oh, they're just beaming, they could not be more proud of, proud of their, uh, their brother. Uh, maybe it comes from his college football days as defensive back uh, under the legendary uh, John uh, Gallardi. Um, I always tease Dennis that uh, uh, you know, he made up uh, for uh, modest talents with uh, extraordinary dedication <laughs> and a high threshold for pain. Um, this does remind me of uh, perhaps the one topic on which Dennis and I will never agree, and that is Vikings versus Bears. Um, there's another reason we all love Dennis so much, and that's his decency, uh, his respect for those around him. Uh, you know, ask any of the staff who are here today, uh, and they'll tell you that despite the unbelievable pressures uh, of service at this level, uh, Dennis is still the first to think about a colleague or to write a handwritten note saying thank you, uh, to ask uh, about your family. Um, that's the spirit that I want in this White House. Uh, and this, of course, is reflected in his uh, incredible love for his own family. Uh, Kari, uh, Addy, Liam, Teddy. Uh, I know that uh, Dad's been at work a lot uh, you know, during the week and on weekends, um, but, uh, and I guarantee he'd, he'd much rather be with you than with me. Um, the next job that he's going to have is going to be demanding too, uh, but uh, the one reason he does this is because he wants to make sure that this world's a better place for all of you. Um, Dad will probably have to stop riding his bike to work. Uh, as Chief of Staff, I don't think that's allowed. Um, but he, he is, uh, you know, he does what he does because uh, he cares and loves you guys so much and he wants to make sure that uh, the next generation uh, is inheriting the kind of uh, America that we all want. Um, so uh, I'm grateful to the entire McDonough family for putting up with us. Um, Dennis, you're not just one of my closest friends, but you're also uh, one of my closest advisors. Uh, and like everybody here, I cannot imagine the White House without you. Uh, thank you for signing up for this uh, very, very difficult job, as Jack Lou will testify. Um, I know you'll always give it to me straight, uh, as only a friend can, uh, telling me not only what I want to hear, but more importantly, what I need to hear to make the best possible decisions on behalf of the American people. So uh, for me, for Michelle, for all uh, your friends and colleagues who are here today, thank you for taking this assignment. Congratulations. I just have one other thing to add. Um, we made a number of personnel announcements today. Uh, there's going to be an incredible team that uh, Dennis will help lead. Uh, but I thought I'd take the occasion uh, to just embarrass somebody. Uh, some of you uh, may know that uh, today is David Pluff's last day in the White House. Um, I had to uh, hide this in the end of my remarks uh, because I knew he wouldn't want me to bring it up. So the, we had some secret squirrel stuff going on here to uh, uh, avoid him thinking that uh, we were going to talk about him. Um, but uh, as many of you know, uh, uh, David has been uh, with me from the very start of this, uh, this enterprise uh, running for president. Uh, I can't tell you how lucky I have been to have him uh, manage our campaign uh, back in 2008. 
then joined the White House uh, during uh, these very challenging last two years. Uh, he's built uh, a well-deserved reputation as being a, uh, a numbers genius and uh, uh, you know, pretty uh, tough combatant. Uh, when it comes to politics, uh, but what people don't always realize, because he doesn't like to show it, is uh, uh, the reason he does this stuff is because he cares deeply about people, and he cares about justice, and he cares about uh, making sure that everybody gets a shot in life. Um, and uh, those values uh, have motivated him uh, to do incredible things, and it were it not for him, um, we would not have been as effective a White House, and. I probably wouldn't be here. So I thought it was worthwhile for us just to say, uh, uh, even if he doesn't want us to say it, uh, thank you to David Pluff for his encouragement. <laughs>